Hey, the Wusu family, it's Ryan. Unfortunately, I don't have a green screen, so I can't make the mess behind me disappear, but I was inspired by Jim's video last week, and I wanted to show you a piece of technology that I've been using to help me in a small part of my life. Since the start of January, I've tried exercising more intentionally, and I wanted a way of tracking my runs. Now, I could have did this in Excel, and a lot of what I'm about to show you could be accomplished using Excel, but I found out about Notion about a year ago now, and I thought this might have been a good use case for it to test it out. So within the Notion environment, I've built myself a little tracking system to be able to document my runs as I go. So over the six months that I've been using this, it's been evolving over time, so let me show you what I've developed. At the top here in this large description section, I've been able to highlight some information that I want to keep top of mind, but I don't necessarily need in the tracking information. So for example, I've loaded up here some stats from last year in terms of the number of times that I went for a run, which is not a lot, but I wanted to use it as a basis of comparison. And so I have the 11 runs, about 37 miles, and this is all done on the elliptical, so it's not real miles. And also the, the total number of time I spent running last year. I started tracking my personal best milestones over time, so the first time that I surpassed the distance that I run last year, the number of total runs from last year that I surpassed this year, the first run that I ran over a thousand calories, the first day that we went into COVID isolation, so I noted that as well, surpassing 200 total miles for the year, and then I started to actually capture what my best times were for each of one mile all the way up to I ran a half marathon a couple weeks back and so I captured that as well. Let's start looking at what I capture inside the table. So on the left hand side here, this challenge is done on a per week basis. So each week I try to run one mile more than I did the week before. And so I make sure to capture each run as their own row but I make sure on the left hand side to know which week of the challenge we are in. Early on, you know, I was achieving my weekly target really quickly because it's not very difficult to go one mile, two miles, three miles. But as you can see later on, the distance between check marks starts to increase. So I capture what week we are in, which run of the week I achieved my target, the date of the run, how many miles the elliptical told me that I ran, the number of calories my Fitbit told me I had expended during it, the average heart rate and the maximum heart rate, the amount of time in seconds. And unfortunately, this is because Notion doesn't seem to handle minutes and seconds very well, so I convert everything to seconds. The perceived exertion, I do it both in terms of a drop down menu here, but then I also want to average my exertion over time, and so I put it in as a number here, and we'll get to the bottom down here for where I've done a few calculations. Uh, everything gets posted to Instagram, and so this is where it's officially documented what day and, and a, a photo of from the Zombies Run app in terms of uh, how far I ran. I started to drop in comments here in terms of whether or not there's anything unusual about the run. And then I also start to track some biometric data in terms of if I take blood pressure measurements that day, uh, so what time I would take it, the systolic, the diastolic, pulse, uh, if I weigh myself that day, how much. It doesn't, I don't usually weigh myself very often, so it's just if I happen to note it on that day, I'll, I'll put it in the tracker as well. But as you can see, everything starts to build up and I'm able to, to continue to track it and I'm able to really build on the momentum of, of you know hitting those weekly targets, running further. Each week it gets a little bit more challenging and so the, the numbers just keep on stacking. And so we are now six months into this challenge and I have really started to rack up a lot of distance. I've run a total of 54 times. I have run a cumulative 290 miles so this week I, I will be breaking the 300 mile barrier. Uh, I've burnt a total of 43,000 calories. Again, I haven't lost any weight in this, but it is an interesting thing to take a note of. Uh, my average heart rate over time averages out to about 138. My maximum heart rate averages out to about 161. And I would compare that against my perceived exertion rate. Keeping the tracking going is something that I've been really enjoying throughout this process because it, it gives me something to do. It's not just a run and done, it is I can look at my progress over time. I have something to work towards. I'm hoping to make a video in the future to talk about a little bit more of what this 
running system and how I how I set it up and why I set it up the way I did, but I'll leave that for a future video. Anyways, Jim, thanks for inspiring this video and how you leverage technology in your life. And to the audience, I hope that you found something interesting in here and maybe there's something that you'd like to try out. Let me know in the comments down below if you find anything noteworthy or if you'd like to share anything of your own. Anyways, thanks for stopping by and don't forget, stay awesome.